Hey guys, what's up? It's Dalton. Um, so, if you're wondering what this is, it did not look like a 78 to you. Well, it's a 63. We bought the 1963 uh, Volkswagen Beetle we've been talking about. So, here. So, um, when we bought this today, uh, it, it did not run. So, uh, you want to put some input? Yeah, it has sat, it has sat for 10 years and has not ran. All we did is clean the fuel tank out, put some new fuel lines on it, and uh, some fresh oil in it, and cranked it up. Tomorrow, we're going to do a compression chest and see what each cylinder is putting out for pressure, and if it's 110 or so or above, and we'll let the motor ride, but we're gonna drop it. it. Needs a new clutch. We drove it down the road. Clutch is hanging up a little bit. Probably a throw out bearing worn. No big deal. That's like changing your brake pads. You just gotta do it. You know, it's part of the maintenance. So uh, I think it's a really good win, and this is most likely the matching numbers motor in this, which is a 1300 cc motor. These cars got about 45 miles to the gallon. So. This is going to be quite the treat. We're going back. The most collectible and is sought after by BW collectors is a 57 through 66. This is a 63. The uh, a Herbie was a 1963 bud. This is a 63. We can make this a Herbie if we wanted we to, but we're not. To. No, there's <laughs> enough Herbies out there. Um. Okay, so the horn actually still works. <laughs> It's and it's not loud. a black car. It turns out this is an ice blue. Uh, okay. Which is yeah. a metallic blue. So this car is painted flat black on the outside. You guys can see that. Um, and that's not the original color. So we're going to make that the original color. Uh, I mean, we're going to make go it back, ice dude. blue. The that means the whole dash and everything has got to be taken apart. And it's going to be painted the blue like it is on the outside of the car. So want to see something crazy? See this antenna right here? Well, the AM radio works, but we're in the shop, so we can't get a signal. It actually works, but yeah. like this I is said. a Sapphire One. This is the original Sapphire One radio, and a Sapphire One not working is worth three hundred dollars. Working is worth about seven hundred to eight hundred dollars. What so is this switch, by the way? I think it just has a port hey, ground. What is this switch? I'm not sure. I think this is. I don't know, but I think this one right here is a choke, but the cable is froze up from here to the motor. Yeah. So we're, we'll, we'll fix all of this. this Mileage is, is currently not working right now, but uh, that's... We don't know it's, that. Well, we it's drive. overclocked. It's 122,000, hey, right? Did the odometer move when we drove? I, never I don't even know. There's not, RPM, there's not RPMs in this car, so we can't see if that no, even works. No, but I mean, if, when we were moving, did no. the needle go up? I don't know. Uh, I didn't even pay we'll attention. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Yeah, we took it for a ride. Um, seems like we need a possible new clutch. Oh, it needs a new clutch. So, yeah. um, this is a speaker. It's a it's mono, so it's not stereo. There's not a speaker over there, over here. No, back like then that, there so. was no such thing as a left and a right. It was all just one speaker. Um, none of the gauges are really working currently. We're just going to put... We don't know that, but we're. Yeah, this well, one we, is mechanical. We didn't it's pay not attention. We didn't pay the attention. Gauge has a mechanical float. It runs by a cable. There is no electronics to this. That's crazy. I've never seen that. We've done a 54 Ford and it was an electronic fuel uh, sending unit. But this one has a cable that pulls the float up and down and then pulls the needle up and down and tells you where it is. That's crazy. I've never seen that. This is great. That's the thing about going backwards is that you get to see how they did things before. Not today. And then when you get in this car, there's no frills, there's no stereo, there's no AC, there's no nothing, but you get to feel like what it was in 1963 to roll down the road in one of these. That's what we're going to look forward to. Um, when we first bought this car today, uh, we bought it for uh, $2,200. Right? Oh, and you can sell it for 4500 right now, running, yeah. right now. And um, the running didn't take too long. Uh, a lot of the... A lot of the uh, what is it? Fuel lines was completely like not like yeah, rotting and not working and stuff like that. Uh, we polished a lot of the stuff 
or steel welded? Well, I mean, we we started out with a fuel can, and we didn't go out of the tank, and then we got it running. So we like, hey, let's pull the tank out and clean the tank out, and then we'll put new fuel lines on it, and we'll get it to run from the tank. And then we took her for a ride, and then the clutch hadn't felt any pressure on it for years. And, and and it could tell we could tell that there was very little clutch left. There might be an adjustment, but I doubt it very seriously. All right, let's take an out uh, outer look of the car. All right. Here, do you want to hold the light? Here. Let me leave my phone in here. Door shut like a dream. Currently, no fenders on the car. Off. Yeah, all the fenders are off. A lot of them are primed. Um, well, the back oh, look two. Look at this. 53 years old. Very little rust. You have a little couple of holes right here. That's something I'm going to cut out. And then you got a couple of pinholes right here. I'll cut these out and put metal back in. I don't. We don't fill them with, you know, bondo or anything. Show them the. Yeah, and look at that. This, no, this, yeah, you this is the mechanical. You can't put, uh, yeah, I can't. I here, have to have a here, screwdriver. one sec, let me get a screwdriver. Hold on, I got it. All right, this, that is so cool. I mean, we already made a video of it, but I've never seen this before, and I've done a 54 before. But I've never seen one of these before. This cable goes to the back of the gauge, show them this is the back of the gauge on the dash and that's what tells you how much fuel, the little, uh, the little needle but this is a cable, it's not a wire and this, this when the float goes up, see, you hear it inside the tank um, we're going to have to take this out because I'm sure it's a, like a big piece of cork on the end of it that floats and I'm sure that cork is completely rotted and gone but I have never seen that to where it's going to pull this lever. This this cable is supposed to stick right here, and this is supposed to go in. But you see, the cable has been damaged, so the end of it is going to this. If the end was still here, it would take that needle back to the full mark, but it won't because it's missing like an inch and a half of it. It should be like out here. Um. But that is so neat. I've yeah. never seen that before. I want to show them this. Look at this. Cardboard. This that's a glove yeah, box. That's a glove box. A it's one. made out of cardboard. That's no, that's literally original. It just has tape all yeah. over it to hold it in. But um see the wiring? You see most mess. of somebody looks, looks somebody like no, but everything else is fine. Yeah. This has been somebody's done something to this. This is where the headlights most likely because of the gauge wire. Then you see the, these and these are resistors. This is apparently for like the stereo or something I don't know but that's the thing the thrill about this is it completely different than the 78 and we're gonna learn what it was in 1963 it's got the Volkswagen cap and this is the this is the brake fluid and this is the uh, uh, windshield wiper fluid that you pressurize with the uh, spare tire of course that's the VIN number the VIN plate and this is manufactured in Germany. This is not a Mexican or Brazilian bug or anything. This is an actual German bug. See, you could see that the original color, if it would focus, yeah, uh, is blue. blue. So this We're, is going to be, our, our, our kind of goal with this car is going to be painting it the original color when um, my mother finds out the VIN. Um, or the paint code. Yeah, we're going to actually and then, go by what it was built. These are not original rims. These are aftermarket rims. So we're going to have to find the original rims, which look something like that. Yeah, and with a center cap on it. This mom had polished this. This is going to be the original look for the, the rim. Like that. And it's going to have a white a beauty wall. ring around it. And you'll see the... Uh, black or blue will probably it'll be a blue car so it'll be blue, blue inside <laughs> this will just be the spare we will find four more that looks really nice we, we saw tons of them at bug jam yeah we went to bug jam guys yeah. with the 78 but i didn't record it well we're going to be ready before bug jam for this one bug jam's in november by the way um but um the seat is so puffy so yeah the seats are all padded really well 
Uh, the 78 had a problem with that for some reason. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put white walls on this car and everything. Here, let me let me grab the light, and then I'll have you start it up. Here, come start it up. Okay. No, you start it up. I have. Uh, I'm busy. Look, I'm recording the uh the engine, so you go start it up. Yeah, I accidentally crushed it on accident. Sorry. <laughs> that I just learned actually when we got this is that 63 only had one mirror there is yeah, no mirror so you see this screw on side okay go over here it's not there so yeah they only had one mirror back then I guess I guess they didn't care about uh, seeing, on the, right yeah, seeing on the right hand side uh, the fenders these are the front fenders. I know they might look bad to you guys, but um, we'll sandblast them. They're actually great conditions. They just need to be sandblasted. Doesn't it go like that, right? Yeah. That's how it goes in. I'm not sure if that's original, is that? Yeah, those are the front. And then... And the oh. backs. The backs are supposed to come off. Oh, where did the little gills go? It's, um... Are you talking about... Wait, oh, yeah. Where did the little gills go? Here. Don't don't break anything there. Oh, you talk talking in there. Okay, these little gills. Yeah, there's two these, of them. These little gills go right here. One goes on. You get the picture. Yeah. One goes on the left hand side. I mean left fender, and then one goes on the right fender. So. Um, Just remember what you're all looking at, because when it comes back, when we're done with it. It's going to look nothing like this. It's going to look like a just gorgeous brand new car. Look at that blue. Yeah. It's been some work done to them, but we're going to take them down to metal. 
People, you not saying if you guys out there do that, paint something um, uh, flat black just because you don't have any other paint or something like that. I don't know, but people usually paint cars flat black just because they don't know how to paint any other color. It's painting is not just picking up a paint gun or an aerosol can and spraying the car. No, that's not how you do it. Um, this thinks the front one. This is the front one, right? Hey, this is the front uh, one, right? Uh huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, the, and then the other yeah, one's the back one. But they're gonna have to be detailed out. This was red once. So, yeah. This is 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. And, you, and this is going to be the start of a whole new project. And you get to see it in the raw because when we show you what the finished results are, it's going to be stunning. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll leave a thumbs up on the video. Uh, stay in, uh, stay tuned for any other videos on the 1963 Remember, Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys.